Did you ever wonder what it was like to just be free? To adventure and explore without the white picket fence and eight to five? To throw away the golden handcuffs? Well, we did. So we bought a 1980 Downeaster Cutter sailboat that was neglected for decades. Sailed her up north, rounding Point Conception, making way to our new home port on the central coast of California. <laughs> We've been fixing her up and prepping her for blue water cruising ever since. With new episodes weekly, follow along our journey. Leave us a comment. And if you like, press subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks for tuning in and see you next week. Last episode, we finished up installing new floors in the living room with new threshold and stairs in the laundry room and a new paint job. This week, we decided to tackle the final house project or at least the one that was most important for our new tenants to have before we left and moved on to the boat, installing a second shower in the house. This smaller half bath is attached to a pretty large pantry that we'd like to convert into a shower. Got this sweet, like yellowed linoleum. It's coming out. We could go back. We could keep it vintage. Keep it that. I only put a big sock on. It was demo day at the house, something we didn't th think would take more than a day to do. But as soon as Grant opened up the floors, we couldn't believe what we saw. He was planning on replacing some of the old water lines since we had some flow issues, but now we had to plan to replace a lot more. The sewage pipe was eroding, crumbling, and open in some areas. That's supposed to be cast iron. Yeah. And you can basically crumble it in your hands. I get the picture. Oh, wow. I guess I could turn this light on. <laughs> and I could open up that vent. So in the middle of building a shower, we've found some pipes that we need to replace. So that is Grant. What? Oh, nothing. I'm just taking a video. that right now. Well, I'm just saying. 
We were stressed. Grant's dad ended up coming over to talk about some of our options. When we bought the house the week shelter in place happened to, over two years ago, we did a sewage scope and we knew that we had old pipes and would have to one day replace them. We just didn't realize how bad it actually was. This needed to be fixed pretty immediately and we weren't entirely sure how to go about it. I pull it we out, could demo right from there. above and then cut through the concrete the foundation shovel. to remove the pipe, the or we could continue digging a 15 foot long tunnel under the concrete foundation and remove the pipe little by little that way. Neither which we planned for and neither did we want to do. We chose the tunnel method. Sucks, the last bit of soil is gonna be all this fucking. Yeah. By three feet. As I stood over the tunnel entrance and handed Grant tools, he slowly cut away the old cast iron pipe in sections. We replaced the sewage line with new ABS pipe. Next up was replacing the old water line. It had some leaks and it was not as big in diameter as we wanted. Grant trenched the side of the house and underneath leading to the old bathroom, removing all the old water line. We replaced them with copper. Hey, hon. Hey. You soldering? Yeah. I love it when my husband goes, if you see a fire, start yelling. The end of week one with the bathroom remodel. Currently standing in our old bathroom and Grant soldering. our old plumbing. I just can't believe we were like drinking from water that came out of those pipes. <laughs> and in two days, Grant replaced all our water line with new copper. Oh, it's not in there. <laughs> all new copper. Housework without some V now. Cheers. <laughs> Did this? How cool! My dad finally paid up for one because he's done that. Where he's loaded and then unloaded it. God, I was saved him every single month. I was kind of saved him like at least an hour of his time. Yeah. He had a full load. They're not cheap though. No. Yeah, okay. Okay. Sunday, another day full of house projects. <laughs> Today we are hopefully finishing up the uh, pavers on the, down the side of the house. Lots of dirt.
don't get the lizard, no. sand works is we'll be dumping the sand more or less where like I will be okay. and screeding it like okay. trying to not get such a big pile I can't screed it okay. and we'll just screed it all the way back. <laughs> Doesn't look great with the take a dirt on it. I don't think you could even see in the Oh my god. I left work early the next day with a bad stomach ache. Grant decided to take me to the hospital and turns out I had appendicitis. I spent the next week curled up on the couch recovering. Another crazy storm with record low temperatures passed by as Grant acted as my nurse, making meals for me and keeping my meds on schedule. I even got to see some snow from our backyard. But I'm making dinner. It's breakfast burritos. Taking a note out of our roommate Pat's playbook. He's a breakfast burrito master. Let's go see what Noelle's doing. What you doing, hon? I'm stuck. Since I can't be out working on the boat currently, we are just studying in our downtime. Did you know what a pram bow is? No, what's a pram bow? It's a square bow known as a pram bow, which increases buoyancy forward and adds room inside. Mmm. Good. Ember, do you know what that is? No, but she knows what this is. We're so adult in our house. With our nice floors and our bold colors. Noelle Dude, blends you're in. reading material. Oh, look. Noelle got me. Marine diesel and outboards. All for free using our county library. This is not a sponsored ad for me. If you liked this video, remember to hit subscribe. And if you have some time, check out this video. I think you'd like it. <laughs>